everyone, it's me, Pluto. Well, I thought we could do a class on music today. Because I know everyone is really curious about musical instruments because they make the world such a happier place. So I thought I, thought I would tell you about a really special one, the bag of pipes. Well, first of all, it's a windy instrument. So you have to have lots of air in your cheeks to, to play that thing. And you have to be able to, to do big breaths and walk at the same time. And sometimes while you're wearing a fancy plaid skirt. Okay, anyway, anyway, the, the, the bag of pipes, it has a Gaelic name called Pibvar, which means the great pipe. But, but, but this magical noisemaker, it, it, it didn't originate in the land of the haggis chips. No siree, but, but those guys, those guys in the Scottish lands, they made it pretty famous. Along with the kilt, which is itchy, but very fashionable, and also has very good ventilation. So, so the bag of pipes actually came from the middle of the east. And then it, it, it traveled all around and it made its way to the Europe lands during the early civilization. So the, the, the smarty pants people at the Oxfords, they said it was first found on a Hittite slab, okay? Which, it, which is like a sculpture picture. And, and they found it in Eyuk, okay? <laughs> you probably don't even know where Eyuk is. Well, well, it was in the Turkey lands before it was called the Turkey lands. Yep. So, so, so the bag of pipes dates back to 1,000 before cookies. So, so the early pipes, or pan pipes, without the squishy bag, are thought to be the, the second oldest instrument after the percussions. So, so, so then the Roman lands people, they got the idea to add the reservoir, as it's called. Although squishy bag sounds way more fun. And Nero, he was the fifth emperor, he, he even appears on some of the, of the Roman coins playing the bagpipes. So, so then there was a whole bunch of different countries that made their own versions, okay? It was, it was like a bag of pipes mayhem around the world. And finally, and finally, in the Northumbrian region of the England lands, it became the trendy place for its, for its musical evolution. It was kind of like the Silicon Valley of the bag of pipes. <laughs> okay, so, so then a bunch of different things happened, and it, it's gonna, it would take me way too long to talk about that. So please... So you should just use the Mr. Googlies because there's some very, very good articles about the history. But, but I'm going to jump ahead to the funner stuff. Okay, okay. So, so the bag of pipes m most people are familiar with are the ones I said at the beginning, the Highland pipes from, from the Scottish lands. And, and they're pretty simple, really. That you, you need a source of air. It, maybe it comes up through the kilt and then goes out the mouth. And then the, bag of, then the bag of air is in the reservoir, and there are three drones, okay? Those are, those are the different length of pipes that come out of the bag, and they produce the, the, the constant sounds. And then the melody maker, it's called the chanter, which, which is played with one or both hands at the same time, okay? So the bagpipe, it can only play, it can only play nine notes from G to A, but, but without the sharpies or the flat ones. So, so I, I really wanted to hear it, so I asked Mom, because... Because some of, some of her family people are from the Scottish lands. And she said she would play them for me. I didn't even know she could play. So she, she, she gave me two choices. Amazing Grace or, or, or the Old Spice commercial. So I, I picked that one because it's cheerier. So okay, Mom, go ahead. Okay, so it reminds me that you should know the bag of pipes were originally used to scare off enemies on the battlefield. Interestingly, bag of pipes are the only known musical instrument to have been used as a weapon of war. Well, 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 mom certainly inflicted some pain on us, so it's not hard to believe that. So, so seriously though, it's a super cool instrument with an amazeballs musical history. You should totally check it out on the YouTubers and do some humming along. The, the, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, they use, they use the bagpipes in a song. And there are even some ACDC covers with the, with the pipes if you need to rock out. But if you, if you want to hear really, really good piping, check out Pipes and Drums or the Black Bear Bagpipes. Then, then just close your eyes and go traveling to the Scotland lands. Have a great week, everyone. Bye.